PregameStuff.com. Jets at Bills Week 17. You know, a lot of games in Week 17 where the motivation is clear. A lot of fighting for the playoffs, jockeying for position. This game, I have no idea what the motivation is. The fact that Brian's betting this, I'm anxious to hear about it. Who do you like and why? Yeah, this is one of those things where you need to read the local newspapers to find out what's going on. And, and everything I've read out of Buffalo is they don't want to end the season on a losing streak. They want this game. It's very important for them. They've lost six straight games to the Jets. If you remember back in uh, first game of the season, all the talk was the Jets. The offense was terrible. They, they had all these hidden plays they were going to put in for Tim Tebow. They were saving it. During they were the saving it. I think they're saving it for the entire season. Then you have to <laughs> they're going to unleash him in this game? They're, they're going to unleash him in this game. Well, who knows? I don't even think he's going to play. But uh, it's a situation where we loved the Jets against Buffalo in the season opener because the Buffalo was the team that came into the season, signed a couple free agents. People thought they were going to be pretty good. The Jets was a team that had a great track record the last few years. We knew what we had out of the Jets. They looked terrible in the preseason. We jumped all over them. They went 48-28 to in Buffalo that first game. And then everybody said, oh, Oh, well, here's the Jets. That was the peak of the Jets season right there, beating Buffalo. And now you've got a team who has won eight games or more, what, four or five straight years. They go to the playoffs virtually every year, except for this year. What do they have to play for here? Uh, they've got the quarterback is coming back. Yeah, so let's talk about okay. that. Last game, the prior week's game was the first under Ryan where, you know, no motivation necessarily about playoffs, and they didn't look good. Right. So now we've got all of a sudden they're going to turn, you know, they're going to say, well, we really got pride. You know, this isn't a prideful team, it seems to me. And that's something, <coughs> excuse me, with the Steelers. This is the first game in Tomlin's era where there's no motivation. So I think you're right. I think we've seen how the Jets react to no motivation last week. Yeah, and now they've got Sanchez coming back. And basically they said last week, they didn't come out and say it, but they said Sanchez is not my quarterback. Every guy in the locker room is thinking, okay, well, now we've got the other guy coming in. Let's see how we do. We wanted somebody else in there other than Sanchez, and they didn't play well. Now they're getting Sanchez back and thinking, well, maybe we're just not a very good team, especially offensively. I've got to really question the motivation from the So Jackson. this is a pure motivation play. Definitely. And, and in a way, Week 17 is a lot like the preseason. Reading the local papers have even more value to get a sense of what the motivation is you think the Bills are motivated, the Jets aren't, and it's not more complicated than that. No, that's all it comes down to right here. Um, the Jets came into the season with high expectations. They've been to the playoffs before. They thought they were going back again. They win that first game 48-28 over these Buffalo Bills, beating them six straight times. Where's the all motivation? Right. So I'm going to, you've got to, you've got one thing to, one question to answer. All right. This might be the trend of the week. Bills the week after playing the Dolphins. And my understanding is, you know, there's a lot of times there's rivalries that aren't national, mm -hmm. but one because it's a division game and it's the one team they they, they want to play harder for, you know, whatever personal reasons, that there's that hangover effect. You know, we've talked about the Steelers. The week after playing Pittsburgh, there's a hangover effect, uh, especially if a team's favored. It's like 11 and 32 or something. Check this stat. It's going to actually blow your mind. Is week after playing the Dolphins, 10 and 36 against the spread since 1989. I mean, that's that's decades and decades of institutional rivalry. 10 and 36 is getting ridiculous. I mean, you know, it's one thing to be seven and one or whatever. Not, you know, we've now moved past where it feels random. I think we got some statistical significance. Does that make you question the Bills' motivation here? Not at all. How many of those games did they play a divisional rival right after they played? Uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, you don't have that okay. offhand. So, so you're saying that, and it's an interesting point. So you're saying with flat spots, you've got to ask yourself, is there an inherent reason for them to avoid the flat spot? And, and a division rival would be. And a lot of it, you know, you've got a team out in New York that has to travel down to Florida half the time. Uh, so that's a traveling situation. That makes a lot of sense if they would play at Miami the week before. Uh, but is Miami a physical team? I, I could see it when you play the Steelers. I think it's, I think like it's a hangover effect where you put all, you know, it's like a high state playing the week after Michigan. You know, it's like if that's your number one rival, you're flat the next week. Some of it's physical, a lot of it's psychological. And But, you know, you said something interesting. You're saying, well, in a division, might be able to trump the, the, the flat spot, but this is a meaningless game. 
So, you, so wouldn't that be more inclined to have it? Almost like let's last week was meaningless too. Let's put our best effort into it, and now hey, it's the last game. I mean, it feels like there's a. It feels like if this was the middle of the season, the the, the inner divisional might kind of mute that hangover effect. But being the last game of the year that is clearly meaningless in the standings, it seems like it would exacerbate that effect. Could be. All right. Are you, do you want to change? Because, again, my goal, and all the time, I think I got Marco to change a pick one time. Years of this trying. You want to change your pick? I won't change my pick here. All right, then. I guess we've talked it through. we got to make it official. I'll lay the points with Buffalo. Everything we have read says that they're a team that's coming out to play. Cannot find any motivation for the Jets in this game. This is a team that's just been a disaster all season long from the head coach to the quarterbacks to the defensive injuries. The offense has done nothing all season long. Game means more to Buffalo. I've lost six straight games here. I think Buffalo wants this game a lot more. The line's cheap. I'll lay the bills. I should be clear. I don't like the Jets. I'm just saying I think there's a motivational question with Buffalo. Maybe the over when two teams aren't trying real hard, especially with Sanchez. If he throws a couple touchdowns, they might want to ro kind of roll that ball down the down the street. It, it makes a lot of sense. I like to play teams who are out of the playoffs on the over as the season's gone on. But if you've been playing the Jets over, and I have a couple times. That, that but see, that shows you. Here you are. It's a great point. Uh, yeah. You're a professional batter that understands 52.38 is what you need to overcome. But even when you lose that third or fourth time on a team, either the team or a certain over-under with the team, right. you're, you're snake bitten. And you're as one of the more dispassionate professional batters I know. You do grind it out. It goes to show you why there's value on those teams. Like the Eagles, it's only that's cashed less than four times this year. The only team, no one wants to bet them because they've been burned. Yeah. That's, that's what I want to say. That's a great point. That's why you're here. That's when I want to step in. There you go. All right, guys. That's it for NFL. But we've got college coming up. Next up in the college. And this is going to be interesting. Me handicapping college. I'm going to need some help from Brian. I've got a pick on the LSU Clemson game. You can get all of our videos at pregame.tv.